Assalamu alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu and welcome back to another episode of Sayyidati where we discuss the lives of some incredible female Muslim figures in order to inspire us today. This time we'll be discussing the life of Nafisa bint al-Hasan who is the great-great-granddaughter of the cousin of the Prophet sallam and the fourth Khalifa, Ali bin Abi Talib and of course hence a direct descendant of the Prophet sallam himself. She was born in Mecca in the year 145 Hijri, approximately in the mid-8th century AD. She joined her father at the age of five when he moved to Medina. And during their time in the city of the Prophet, Nafisa would go with her father to the masjid and listen to his teachers alongside him. For years, she remained in this environment, studying both hadith and fiqh from the local scholars. And before she even reached puberty, she received a nickname from the community, and she was known as Nafisa Tulain, or the gem of knowledge. Once she got older, she got married and later moved with her family to Egypt, where she was warmly welcomed by the community and spent her time in worship and teaching, as well as spending her wealth in taking care of the sick. When Imam Shafi later moved to Egypt, it was narrated that he called upon her to learn hadith from her and to ask for her dua. And upon his death, his funeral was carried all the way to her home just so she could directly make dua for him. In the example of Nafisa bint al-Hasan, we have the story of a woman who was raised to be a scholar. What I think is the most incredible aspect about her life is that she served as a teacher to one of the most influential Muslim scholars of all time. Imam al-Shafi'i, who founded the Shafi'i Legal School of Thought and is famous for his legal methodology and poetry and everything he did in his commitment for scholarship. And who did he turn to for, du for dua and hadith? This woman, Nafisa bint al-Hasan. This wasn't unique to Imam al-Shafi'i. Many of the greatest scholars in history learned at the hands of female scholars and muhadithat. So next time you're amazed by the words of Imam al-Shafi'i and the like, remember a woman like Nafisa bint al-Hasan and be inspired by her commitment to knowledge and hadith. Jazakumullah khairan for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.